Somebody help me! Dab? Dab? Yep, I have yet to find Gavin in all of my playthroughs, including this one, which is moving toward 100%. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and I'm doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In order to obtain 100%, you have to get all of the cigarette cards. Yep, all of them. You could ride around forever looking for them, and never find them or you could just do this hack I'm sure it's been discussed in other videos but I'm gonna do it anyway you can just buy every cigarette card you need it's gonna cost a lot of money it's gonna take a lot of time but you can do it now this hack seems so genuinely easy to deal with and intuitive I mean, you get a card with every pack of premium cigarettes. And when you buy a pack of premium cigarettes or find one, you get a card. Well, it just occurred to me when I was first playing, I thought, gee, all I need is enough money and I can buy all the cigarette packs I need to get all the cards. And it takes time. I mean, if you found cards and kept them, found premium cigarettes and kept them, yeah. You can get through quickly depending on how many premium cigarettes you have. In this case, I have the Legends of the East um, satchel, and so I'm buying all these premium cigarettes up. And when I get to 99 cigarettes, I just open the satchel and discard them and keep buying. And once in a while, I check to see, yep, right now, 99, I'm going to discard them all. And then occasionally I check to see how far along I am and how many cards I need. This took me, oh gee golly, mm, about, I want to say 30 minutes of just sitting there buying cigarettes and discarding them. And even with the Legends of the East satchel. Now if you can tell, this is my first look. And I did this every couple times. And yeah, some of the like famous gunslingers i have zero one or two i didn't start with many cards you're going to get a lot of duplicates but you can sell those to the fence once you've mailed in the cigarette cards and that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the end of buying all these cigarettes and then i'm going to mail them out to the guy who needs them Okay, I believe I have them all, so let's take a look at the cigarette cards. See if I have all the sets. 144 of 144, yeah, I do have them. Famous Gunslingers, um, Artist Painters. You have Vista's Scenery. Yep. Uh... Fairest Flowers, yep. Wild Flora, okay. Yep, got that. Stars of the Screen, or Stage, mm-hmm. Fauna of North America, why do they have a Basset Hound? Marvels of Travel, okay. Champions of the world. I actually did a video about the skater. So, got um, 12 amazing inventions. Yep, right there. Horses. Yep, got the horsies. Prominent Americans. Okay, now this one is interesting. I did a video of Lillian Powell. I'll put that down in the description. But she's a writer and a famous American. So now I'm going to leave the general store and mail out the cards. 
after changing my point of view to third person. Welcome back, mister. Hello. Now you have to mail out each set separately, and then you gotta wait a couple days. So once all these sets are mailed out, just leave, go hunt some animals, um, do a mission, basically wait for about a day or two. You'll get a message that you have packages waiting for you, and then you can come back to a post office and pick them up. I just went to Strawberry because it's closest to Lake Ojibwa where I can do some hunting and work on the hunting challenge. After a few days, I've returned to Strawberry. I have a package to pick up, or Arthur does. And you just come in, you left trigger the station clerk, receive mail, and take all the packages. Collect all of them. Uh, you get a decent amount of money. That made up for all the money I spent. I think I spent like a thousand bucks to buy all those cigarette packs. And one of the most critical things you get is the Civil War handcuffs. Those are important in crafting a certain trinket that is somewhat useful to Arthur. Yeah, I spent all that time and money, for, and this hack is going to cost you time and money. But in some ways, it's worth it. You're not riding around everywhere looking for cigarette cards. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and some specials. You want to stay informed, you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.